deer season just wrapped up, so uh, at least for me, so it's time to go fishing. I got material I want to try out called Dirty Bug Yarn from Semper Fly. So I'm gonna real quick whip up some nymphs and then go fishing. Uh, well, it's midnight right now, so go fishing tomorrow. It, this material makes it very easy to tie flies quickly. So I'm gonna do just a real simple caddis nymph and then a quick two-tone anchor fly with it. And I've, I've been messing around with it this evening already and uh, getting ready for a week of fishing. It's supposed to be in the 30s. Uh, it's cold like November's cold, which means it's like somehow warmer than it's going to be later in the winter, but colder, windy and humid and all that stuff. So it'll be a little challenging in the wind to tight line fish, but I'm gonna do a little trout swinging, um, do a little indicator nymphing, probably take the kids out. So what I'm doing here is just wrapping up this yarn. This is the green caddis, Rechophilia yarn. And like I said, this is, this is easy stuff. I've been contemplating putting a hot spot on here. We'll see how it works tomorrow. And the proof's in the pudding. You know, if it doesn't need one, it doesn't need one. It's probably better to start simple and then <laughs> experiment later, but this time I'm making myself do it, but most of the time I guess I do it the opposite way. So even those caddis have a little bit of a taily type feeler thing. So what I've done is I've kind of left myself, as far as I can tell, as few steps as possible. I'm gonna wrap this for that little dark spot at the front. And I left that wire so I can kind of wrap through it to hold it down. Nice little durable fly. As the Kiwis say, it is cold as cold, cold, sunny, and windy. All right. In my pursuit to not fish an egg today, here's a couple flies. Let's give them a shot. Well, heck, we got one. Skinny rainbow. And that took that caddis. 